What up? This is Ricardo, aka Rick Nation. Today's exercise will be shoulders. That's right, baby. Shoulder boulders. Now, in this exercise, we're gonna look for the pump. Alright? We're gonna look for reps. We are not gonna go heavy. Medium to moderate weight. So we're gonna check the egos at the door. And we're gonna pump the shoulders full of blood. So I made sure I got sleep, I ate well, and I'm well hydrated, so I'm able to push myself to the limit. I am going to push as much blood in my shoulders as I possibly can. Alright? High reps, high reps, high blood flow makes you grow. Here we go. Yeah. What's up everybody, it's your boy Ricardo Thurman, aka Rick Nation, coming at you with another video. And this video is real intense. Right out of the gates, we got side lateral raises. Okay, as you see here, I'm getting that flow. I'm getting that blood flow. I'm getting that pump. Just because we're not moving heavyweight don't mean we're getting a good workout. I'm sweating, my shoulders are burning. Man, look at that. Making that mind and muscle connection, making sure I grow. Okay, here we go now. Hitting some real delts with some side ladder raises. Doing as many reps as I possibly can. All right, the goal here is, is to hit the shoulder from every angle as possible, okay? I want every part of my shoulders to round off. I'm visualizing the huge round shoulders. You got three heads, the front, the side, and the rear. You want to pump as much blood as you possibly can. As you see, I'm going back and forth with rear and side laterals, getting that pump going. <laughs> Well again, the blood flow ain't stopping, pushing as much blood as I possibly can. The thing about this type of workout is it can get you out of your comfort zone when you get in a rut. Alright, when you get that same routine. Now you all know that your bodies, our bodies are made to adapt in all situations. So you gotta throw the curveball. Switching up the activity, switching up the workout. Working your muscles in a different manner will make you grow, make you change. Now my rest in between the sets was about a minute, probably a little bit longer. Now as the, as the workout progressed, okay, I probably was taking like a minute and a half between um, each one. Running that dumbbell rack up and down, pyramid up with the weights, and I pyramid it down. Called it the gauntlet. Working each set into failure, feeling that burn, feeling that sweat. Man, that feels good. <laughs> Now, here, I was listening to my body. You gotta listen to your body. These 50s felt good. They burned. If they didn't feel good, I wouldn't have worked them. Do what you can. But don't feel like, don't feel like you, you can't do the work. If you can't do the work, don't do it. Alright, but don't confuse yourself. You gotta work. You gotta make that muscle burn. I think 
these are the 60s. All right, this month I'm killing it. I'm killing it with shoulders. I'm not moving heavy weight. Now, the, the rest of the month, I'll be I'll be moving heavy weight with different exercises. But this month, my homework is shoulders. I'm just getting as much blood as I possibly can into these muscles. All the nutrients. I'm hydrated. I ate well. I got my supplements. I'm good to go. After that, I moved to the Smith machine. All right, now see, I love this for um, for the presses up, okay? Because you got stability here, all right? You don't have to worry about injury, all right? Now see here, I'm getting a full extension here. I'm getting that good pump. I love this, I love this workout right here because I'm able to, to not have to worry about injury. Now, I did about three sets of this. What's good about this, you can do the drop sets and keep right on going. Right after the drop sets, I went straight, right back down to the side laterals, hitting the muscles each way I can. Pushing blood, killing. shoulder press I like this machine right here now if you notice I'm not doing full extension on this one I'm doing like a uh, half to a, to a three-fourths rep on this this one right here you can concentrate on that front delt right here you can concentrate on that mind muscle connection make it grow look at that come on man push the reverse pec deck for more rear delts, baby. Hitting every angle as much as possible. All right, now right here, you gotta be mindful of your positioning. Make sure you don't <clears throat> hit that back. Cause though, what, what the large muscles wanna do in the back is they wanna take over. So you have to concentrate on what you wanna hit. It's all about range. It's all about hand positioning. It's all about positioning of the body. All right? Now, this is this is no written way to do, to do anything perfect. Try new things. Do what works for you. And I did six sets of these because it felt good and I felt that burn. All right, upright rows, baby. All right, now this bar is wide, so I had two different hand positions as you see. So right now, I have the wider grip. In the middle of this workout, you'll see me close in to get, to get a different angle get a different position it's all about the angles pushing blood in different places in the muscle high flow burning a lot of calories right here making that muscle grow 15 reps 15 reps and I switch hand positions I did four sets of these Finishing off with front delts. Cable front delts again, baby. Hitting every shoulder part at different angles as much as possible. I haven't did some negatives here. I did different hand positionings. Don't be fooled, man. This was this this was a tough workout. I'm sweating in this hoodie. Alright. The concept I have finishing off this workout is rounding off the shoulders. That's all I want to do. Pumping a whole bunch of blood as much as I can. Now I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please rate the channel, like, share, subscribe. Get out there into those gyms. Kill it, kill it, kill it.